Thanks, pal. So, what else can you tell me about Dunn's death? Well, not much. My memory's not what it used to be. Uh, you'd better ask the cleaning lady. She found the body. It should be her shift down at Sam's Diner. The place is close by. Take the main door and follow the street. <laughs> Just wait till you see her. You're in for a treat, my friend. Dunn wasn't black, but he allowed you and Bobby Yale to train here. Yeah, this was the first integrated gym in the city, I think. But not everyone liked that, hmm? You've seen the graffitis, right? If I get my hands on that bastard... Do you have any idea where Bobby Yale could be? Not a clue. I dropped by Bobby Yale's apartment. I think he might be involved with O'Leary, the bookmaker. Uh, you sure? Yale had some dark years, no doubt, but Dunn turned him into a decent guy. I'm no d detective, but I wouldn't follow that lead. You said Yale joined a gang back in the day? Know which one? Hell, I don't know, John. This is New York City. They are more gangs than people. Do you know any of his relatives? His, his father, Av... Av... Avenarius. Avenarius? The boxer poet? Didn't he disappear? 20 years ago? Yeah, and his wife, Bobby's mom, died shortly a a after. Dunn is the closest thing the family the poor kids had ever since. If Yale's gonna fight the reigning champion, he's got a big career ahead of him. He hasn't lost a single fight since he turned pro. The little bastard beat the socks off me a few years back. What was Joe Dunn like? Uh, he was a decent man. Have you seen all those slogans on the wall? Those motivational phrases? Joe really believed in them. All of them. He played the saxophone, right? Yeah, pretty well for a white boy. But he quit when his wife died. Makes no sense, right? I mean, nothing draws chicks like the brass. Why quit when you're finally free? <laughs> what can you tell me about Sonia Dunn? She's hot, ain't she? <laughs> you two seem to get along nicely. Well, I've known her since she was a baby. But she sure has grown, uh, if you get my drift. I hadn't seen her since she left for college about four years ago. It seems like her father's death didn't really upset her. Well, she likes to play it cool, which makes her really hot. I better let you get back to your drills. All right. Smells like paint. Bastards. The proud South. Hmm.
Hmm. What the hell? <laughs> Jake, give me one good reason not to smash in your face. What the hell are you doing in my locker? I I'm a detective. That's what I do. Yeah, and my friend too. But that's what I thought. Get mm. off me. Sometimes, <sighs> John, I can just oh. punch you. <clears throat> Forgotten that Jake used to work for Natalia. Anyway, I promised myself I'd move on. This shouldn't affect me. Please, Jake. Damn it! I told you to leave me alone.
Miss Dunn, can I run a couple of questions by you? If they help you find Yale, go ahead. Did you and your father get along? Let's just say our relationship got better when I left for Sunny University. An eight-hour drive from here. Meaning? I'll lay it out for you, Mr. Blacksad. My father, Joe Dunn, disappeared the day my mother died. He became a shell of himself. Joe Dunn, my legal guardian. A man who gave me food, shelter, clothing, and an education. And that's more than you need to know. Did you get along with Bobby Yale? <sighs> okay. Forget it. I wouldn't give a damn about him if it weren't for this stupid gym his stupid fight is supposed to save. Happy? What can you tell me about Jake? I thought you were friends. Guess I was wrong. He and my father were friends, so don't go down that road. What's in those papers you're going through? Red tape. Great. If you find something, please let me know. I thought you were the detective. You do your job, and I'll do mine. What do you think about Mary, the cleaning lady? Can't say. I, I barely know her. And I'm not one who's quick to judge other people. Thanks. That's it for now. I get it. You don't like me. But there's something you need to know. I'm all ears. I don't really like myself either. So that's one thing we've got in common. Duly noted, Mr. Blacksad. Dunn kept files on the gym's staff and clients. Name, address, and date of birth. Seemed like a happy family. I'd like to take a look inside that safe now. Could you give me the combination? I'd love to help you, but my mother's birthday used to be the combination, but I already tried it. Could you tell me your birthday? Of course. March 6th. And the year? I'm 24, Mr. Blacksad. You do the math. No luck.
good place to spy on Sonia. Someone should weld the iron bar on those panels. Hey, it's me again. Thing is, Joe Dunn's daughter hired me. Alright, thanks Joe, but I still don't get it. Any signs of foul play? His pupil, Bobby Yale. No one's seen him since Dunn hanged himself. Well, his coach killed himself a few weeks before his big fight. Must be drowning his bad luck in booze in some gutter somewhere. So... Are you going to help me? Why should I, Mr. Client Detective Privileges? Anyway, I'm afraid I don't have anything useful to share. And it seems like you don't either. But if you do find something, give me a call. We've been friends for a long time. I think I have a new lead on the Dunn case. I found racial slurs painted on the lockers at Dunn's gym. He was pretty open-minded about racial issues. Maybe his death had something to do with that. John, half of the crimes in this city have racial ramifications, unless you have solid proof that it wasn't suicide. My hands are tied. Hmm, I think that's it. I might just be the last person in New York without a TV.
Maybe that's how I should spend the bribe money. Looks like a chest expander, doesn't it? Good morning, sir. Ah, it's a good morning to you. John Blacksad, Private Eye. Would you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Not at all. Proceed, Your Honor. Were you here on Sunday afternoon? Yes, indeed, kind prince. I came down to watch TV after having run the New York City Marathon in record time. <coughs> is there anything I can do for you? Well, there is indeed. Move. You're blocking my view of this wonderful sunset. <laughs> it just so happens that you can, apple of my eye, do this old man a favor and bring him some sustenance. <laughs> All right. Hi, uh... Who are you? Oh, yeah. You bring my, bring my lunch? You hound? I mean, cat. All right, I'm on it. I'll be right back. I'd prefer a yellow Cadillac, but I can't complain. He opened it during the war? That's odd. Mary Purnell, the person who found Dunn's body, works a block away from the gym. I'm certain she can give me the kind of information that... Hey! Watch where you're going, you jerk! You looking for trouble, moron? You better watch it. Go to hell, man! You better not show your face around here!
And there you go. We'll miss you at Sam's Diner. Come back soon. Welcome to Sam's Diner. What can I get for you? Black Sad, Private Eye. I work for Sonia Dunn. I need to ask you some questions about Joe Dunn. Uh, sure. But I'm working right now. <laughs> Maybe later? Please. I need to find Bobby Yale as soon as possible. And I think you can help me. All right. I'll let you get back to work. See you. We'll miss you at Sam's Diner. Bye-bye.